In this video, we're going to talk about determining a molecular formula if you've been given an empirical formula and a molecular weight. The first thing you'll want to do is calculate the mass of the empirical formula unit. This is because a molecular formula is some whole number multiple of the empirical formula. We're going to figure out what that ratio is by looking at how many repeats of the mass of the empirical formula unit are in the molecular weight. After you've got your empirical formula unit weight, you're just going to plug all of it into this equation. You're going to divide the molecular weight by that empirical formula unit weight, which gives you n. n is the number you will multiply all of the subscripts of the empirical formula by to get the molecular formula. Let's take a look at this in action. Two important biological molecules are glucose and lactic acid. By combustion analysis, you learn that both have the same empirical formula, CH2O, but they have different molecular weights. Lactic acid is 90.08 grams per mole, whereas glucose is 180.16 grams per mole. What are the molecular formulas of these compounds? Remember, the first step in any of these situations is we first want to find out the mass of this empirical formula unit. So we're going to write that down right here. And just like when calculating a molecular mass, you're just going to multiply the atomic mass by the number of atoms of that particular atom. So we're going to get 12.011 plus 2 times 1.00794 plus 15.9994. You crunch that through and you get 30.026 grams in that formula unit. Now all we have to do is figure out how many times this mass goes into each of the molecular masses to get our ends. We'll start with lactic acid. So N equals the molecular weight, in this case 90.08 grams, over the empirical formula unit weight, so it's going to be over the 30.026 grams. We crunch that and we get 3. So we're going to multiply all of the subscripts in the empirical formula unit by 3 to get the formula of lactic acid. So we do that, we get C3 H6O3. Let's do the same thing for glucose. In this case, our N equation will be the 180.16 grams divided by that 30.026. This time, N is 6. So we're going to multiply the empirical formula unit by 6 to get the formula of glucose. That's C6H12O6. So here you can clearly see how two different molecules can have the same empirical formula, but have different molecular formulas. See you guys on Monday.